joining me at Lori Houston Art. I am so excited to share that I had class number two with pieces of Tara's artistry, Tara Lombardi. Thank you so much. I had such a great time. Um, you all saw where I did the um, white pearl um, paintings the last time I had my class with Tara. Yesterday we did the colored pearls. I have the piece that I created during that class. I'm gonna bring it up so that you can see how gorgeous this is. Oh my goodness, not bad for my first try. I see some things that I wish I'd done a little bit differently or changed up. I don't like this little spot here, but overall it's beautiful. I cannot wait to put some varnish or resin on this and see see what it looks like. So for number two, we are actually going to go ahead and I'm all set up. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Just wanted to share that. And we are set up with a 20 by 20 canvas. Um, make sure you can see this. And I have painted my edges with white because the paint is so thin with the pearl that um, you can see the canvas through. So I've painted it white. Tara explained the whole process and why. And I've taped my canvas. I've put my push pins in. I've leveled it out. And now um, I am going to do a pearl with Tara's recipe is on for the white base. You can actually see how thin this is. And ironically, I'm kind of getting the feel for it. So I'm not going to go over the recipe because I am still learning. And these were the drips from the painting that I just, um, sh you know, showed you. These are the drips. That is going to be my base coat. Then I'm going to do um, just kind of a, a puddle pour. I'm going to I'm going to pour it all off the canvas. And just remember, when you put your base coat down, it needs to be very thin. And then when you put your puddles, whatever way you tilt, you've got to tilt it back. And that's where you'll get, that's where you'll form your pearls. So let's get started. I am going to, let's see. I really liked how the corners had, I'm going to do this. And we're going to bring some of the white. Okay, another cup of white. good I hope now I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to move this paint off the canvas I'm gonna stop real quick because I see a goober see it there we go it's a big one okay all right, let's get this paint off the canvas. Let me see another one. Yeah, you know what I just realized? I forgot to strain those drips, so that's the problem. Okay, let's get all this off. going to come down. Mm -hmm. I love working with these house paints too. It just dries so cool. Okay. Keep going. 
going. Kind of moving these off as thin as I can get it. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and lay our puddles. I am using one, I've added some colors. This is turquoise green. Okay. And I've got Amsterdam greenish blue. Okay. And then I'm going to go with. Um, Golden Teal and Turquoise Thalo mixed. Okay. And then I'm going to go with, I didn't like this color how it reacted yesterday, Golden's Light Thalo Blue, but I'm convinced to try it again and I mixed up some new. do just a tiny circle of um, Payne's Gray by Golden. Sorry. It's so distracted and it's so hard to tell how much paint to put on sometimes. But Okay, so let's go. Let's move these paints. Get them off. Down. Oh, remember, come back and then go off, come back, let's go down to this side, come back, okay, let's come down to this side, down to this corner, and then you gotta come back. See what it does. I have a feeling I didn't do enough over here. Let's do this and let's come back. All right, let's let it set and let's see what happens. Okay, everybody. So we were on a little bit of a time lapse there. Um, I learned something about this technique for me personally. I prefer a more minimalistic look. I love this. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I do see where I made maybe a boo boo. I think I might have kept too much paint here. I probably had, you know, there was opportunity to move some of it off, but overall, this is forming beautifully and I prefer a Dutch pour. You know, part of me is like, do I want to do a Dutch pour? Look at, you know, the way that this is laid out is gorgeous. However, I think that I love this corner. Oh my goodness, that's just beautiful. Um, and I may, you know, this is the area that probably needs something. So I have to decide where do I want to put the Dutch pour. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure out where I want to put the Dutch pour. And I wanted to mention one of the things that um, Tara had mentioned, when you paint your sides um, and you prep them, the it, it's so cool because you'll get lacing. And I'm just showing you on the corner of this one. You're, you're, it actually, the cells go right down from the canvas onto the side. That's what's really cool. And I see that happening here. It just, it, it, it you know, covers your side so well. Um, 
So I think the longer you wait, the more pearls you get. And I think that I like a more minim minimalistic looking painting. I love this. I love the pearls that are popping up, the clusters here. And I think they're really very well shaped pearls. Um, if you can see real quick, I know there's probably a bad glare. This paint is so shiny. There's a pearl here that's kind of wonky and there's a little section here. So I think, again, I might not have pushed enough paint in that area because remember, um, you know, we have a tendency when you're doing this, you're trying to tilt it all off and keep the right consistency of paint on the canvas and you forget about this middle area. So I think if I'm going to do, I see a lot more popping up down here. Um, I think I want to do, um, you know, it's funny because you don't, I see this coming through here. I just don't know if I want to do anything to this one because this is the only spot I really don't care for. Um, and it's really not that bad. It might be good just to leave it as is. I'm gonna let it set for a little bit longer. Drink my coffee. Um, I planned on doing this yesterday and actually got up at four o'clock this morning with my coffee and it's just so peaceful and you know you you don't feel so rushed so this is great I'm just letting it set look at this it's like a stream looks like bubbles under the, the water coming up I don't know I might have to do another canvas with a Dutch pour and leave this one as is all right I'm gonna I'm gonna pause you for a minute and make up my mind. I'll be right back. Buddy, I'm back. I asked my husband to come up here and take a look. I've just been contemplating whether or not I should do a Dutch pour through this area here. I probably, you know, he said I'll probably mess with it and do it, but he likes it the way that it is. And I agree. I think it's beautiful. I think the color palette's gorgeous. So, I am actually not going to mess with this one. I'm going to um, put it over to dry. Buddy, I wanted to bring you down and show you all the beautiful pearls that came out after my class with Tara and pieces of Tara's artistry. Look at these amazing pearls. Beautiful pearls. Look at those. Oh my goodness. I'm going to bring you over here. I love this color. Look at that. They're gorgeous. I'm going to bring you up here to the corner. And I'm sorry for the glare. It's what happens when something's so bright. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to kind of bring you up. And I want to show you both that I did. I actually, during the class, this is the one that I completed. I did a Dutch pour in the middle. And I want to bring you into this corner. Look at those pearls. And I apologize if I call them cells throughout. When you've been creating cells for so long and you switch to pearls, <laughs> you forget. But